Walking is one of the best forms of exercise you can do because it's low impact and you can do it anywhere, even in your house. Join me for an indoor walking workout that combines low impact indoor walking with bodyweight strength training moves so that you get the best bang for your fitness buck. This workout is appropriate for all levels, so feel free to share this video and invite your friends to join you. I also recorded this video with no music so that every time you use this routine, you can put on a new playlist of choice to keep things fresh and fun. There are no repeats in this video, so expect to do an exercise once and do it your best, and you won't see it again. I hope you have so much fun loosening up and enjoying movement with me in this routine. It's safe to do often, but remember, in order to get the best results from your training, you want to follow a structured exercise program. When you join my Caroline Jordan Fitness Patreon community, you get a monthly fitness calendar to follow, which tells you what exercise videos to do every day of the week. You won't waste any time searching for what to do, because I'll have it planned right there for you. So join us today and start the monthly fitness calendar program so that you can see lasting fitness results and feel good in your skin. Patreon links are included in the description box below this video, so click that link and join us today to start the monthly fitness calendar program. With all that being said, double lace up your walking shoes and meet me indoors for this indoor walking workout. All right, my friend, I'm so grateful that you're here. Remember, we have one minute of indoor walking, and then we move into one minute of a bodyweight exercise. If you ever can't do one of the bodyweight exercises, don't sweat it. Just march on the spot, and we'll meet you back at the next walking interval. If you're using a fitness tracker, choose the option for indoor walk so that you can gauge how many steps you're getting through our exercise session today, and also check in on metrics like your heart rate. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to do this with you. Are you ready? Game face, positive attitude. I'm so excited to start. I'm gonna press our timer. I've got it right here, and we've got one minute of our fitness walk. Are you ready? Okay, three. Two, one, let's go. As you walk today, I want you to focus on posture, positive attitude, breath, and generating positive energy for your life. Fitness is a gift that keeps on giving. The more you invest in your health, the better your life becomes because of it. So let's invest good things today with this indoor walk. Squeeze your butt and pick up your knees. Pump your arms. Wake up the neighbors. <laughs> Laughing is extra credit and also an additional ab exercise. <laughs> uh, work it out. Here we go. I love the first walking interval because you're just like, yeah, pumped to be here, man. We've got a step touch with an arm jack. Feel free to go slower or faster. Just loosen up and have some fun. Fitness does not need to be taken seriously. It should just be a way to enjoy your body. Good, open and close those arms. Stretch the chest and the shoulders. Whew. Are you smiling? I hope so. Grateful for the gift to move your body, the gift to have a healthy body to move. Ha! I get so excited to work out with you. It's almost like I channel that energy into every single indoor walking step. Thank you for being here. Walk it out, pump your arms. And if you're using it, check your heart rate. Woo! I like to check my heart rate because it allows me to know sometimes the intensity of my workout and gauge my efforts. 
So I know that if my heart rate comes up really high, I need a longer rest interval or a lower movement interval until I'm ready to get it back up high again. How's your posture? Our next body weight exercise is one of my favorites, and I put it at the beginning of our workout so that you can really stretch your hamstrings, especially if you've been sitting a lot. It will help. We're gonna do a toe touch with a hamstring stretch. You get a bonus single leg squat when you do it. Huh. How's that march going? Good, here we go. We're gonna send one leg forward, touch the toe and switch. Heel, touch. Now you can move faster or slower, but I want you to focus on skill, form, chest is long, you don't want to round your spine, so only go as low as you can with a nice, long spine. You'll notice I'm reaching and rowing my arms, so reach, row. You know, I believe movement is medicine and really helps work out all those tight kinks that we get from stress and sitting. So let's let movement be our medicine today. Let's allow it to heal us in the ways we need. I'm having way too much fun. And we're just getting started. Oh yeah, March. Whew. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Optional dance breaks are always accepted. So if you just need to during your walk, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Remember, fitness can be fun. It doesn't have to be serious. It doesn't have to be about numbers and distance. It can just be about moving your body, being healthy, being positive. Right? Because the healthier and more positive you are, that radiates to the world around you. And one thing I know for sure is the world could use a little positive energy right now. Can you be that positive energy? I'll be it with you. What do we got next on our body weight agenda? We're gonna stretch those calves and push away anything that's holding us back. Here we go. We push, push. So I want you to stretch back through those calves, press. It's low impact, so go only as fast or as slow as you need, but take anything negative and push it away. Ha! Remember, you can always march on the spot at any time. You can also dance break. Oh, I love this exercise. I'll probably say that about everything I have programmed today. Also love my Patreons. Thank you for supporting this work. You are my heart. Go, you got it. Woo! I'm sweating. Let's march. My Patreon community is the reason I wake up every day because they support my business. They use the videos and they help create the videos. So thank you. Thank you. Okay, keep marching. Here we, here we go. Where are we walking today? Where are you in the world? Make sure you comment below and let me know. Are you in San Francisco? Are you in the UK? I want to know. We're going to take it back to my old school group fitness roots with the next exercise. It's a modified jumping jack. And I started teaching when I was 15. I was team teaching with my mom when I was in high school. So I'm going to show you one of the, some of those moves that we used together. Modified jumping jack is next. Ready? Here we go. We go out, out. That was back in the day of uh, Adidas had these like two-piece exercise outfits. 
And my mom and I have matching Adidas two-piece outfits. Oh yeah, it's too cool for school, huh? <laughs> can you make it bigger? Yes, you can. I believe in you. I want you to believe in you. Come on, here we go. Hey, whoo! March. So my mom was my positive influence. When I was growing up, I wanted to be healthy like her. She was a nurse full time and she taught fitness in the morning before she went to work. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. I was like, I wanna do that too. You have to realize what you do in your life influences everyone around you. So be a positive influence today. Grab your kids, they can do this walk. Pick those knees up, come on. I'll go anywhere with you. I hope you comment and let me know where you're walking today. <laughs> All right, next we've got a pretty tough exercise. We're gonna raise the roof and touch the ground. We're gonna touch down and touch up. It's tough, but we can do it. We're together. Ready? You're gonna touch ground, ceiling. Now, if you can come up on those toes, calf raise. Ground, ceiling. If the calf raise is too much, just ground, stand. Listen to your body. Whew. You have one whole minute. So maybe try both. Keep your abs tight. This makes me feel like I'm shooting a basketball through the hoop. <laughs> Because they open up the inner thighs and they really engage the glutes and the quads. 
If they hurt your knees, you want to think about activating your hips, pushing your knees out a little bit. Sometimes I coach clients and their knees knock in because they're lacking glute strength. So you should check out my glute videos if you find that's the case for you. But we're gonna scooch and march to one side of your mat, or one side of your house, or one side of wherever you're at. We're going to lunge one way, okay? So follow me, and if it begins to be too much, just march on the spot, and we'll catch you in the next walking interval. Pick up those knees, squeeze your butt, and don't forget, smiling helps. You're gonna lateral lunge, step together. Try to send your butt back. So what I was saying about the knees, you don't want this knee to cave in. Use your glutes. You wanna think about pushing off, down. One minute is pretty hard. So feel free to do a few reps, march it out, and then try a few more reps if you're beginning your fitness journey or feeling a little slower today. That's okay. We all have days where we wake up ready to crush our workouts, and then days where it's just about showing up, breathing, and being kind to ourselves. So please meet yourself where you're at today. Good job, get low in that lunge. Ooh, I feel my booty! Whew. You know I love a good booty burn. Secret to a strong life is strong glutes. All right, let's march. You might feel a little lopsided. That's okay, I promise we'll do both sides, which is what we have up next. So march it out, maybe feel the difference between the sides. And I say the secret to a strong life is strong glutes because if your glutes are strong, typically it helps with better movement patterns and it helps with injury prevention because strong glutes help you move well and prevent injuries for repetitive stress like walking, running, jumping, swimming, what have you. So get those glutes strong. Make sure you're doing your hip bridges. Meet me on the other side of your exercise space. Keep your march going. How's your steps? How's your heart rate? I'm almost to a mile. A mile in at my house. <laughs> a mile and I didn't have to go outside in the cold today. Winning in life. All right, here we go. Lateral lunge, side two, same form. So nice, strong lunge down, press it up. Make sure you're getting that nice inner thigh stretch, glutes, push off, down, push. This is low impact. Yeah, I do this with my senior clients. I coach clients virtually all over the world and a lot of them are 60s and up. And if they can do it, so can you. <laughs> Good, down up. Whew. Nice, watch your knees, make sure they're really using your glutes. The more you use your muscles, the less the joints will take impact, which is why we wanna build strong muscles. So your joints don't hurt. Nice job. Keep that lunge going down, push up, whoo! All right, let's march. We're going to work our core a little bit standing with our next exercise. It's a star crunch. I'm excited. I love standing abs. So if you haven't tried these standing abs workouts, you can also do that. It's a little hard to search on YouTube for workouts. That's why you should become a Patreon and I'll lay it all out for you. Just saying. Check in with your breath. If you want to march faster, you can. If you want to march slower, you can. If you want a dance break, you can. Picking up your knees, come on. Hey. How are we doing? I ask that because sometimes you want to check in with your body and your brain. Star abs crunch. Here we go. We crunch. Pull it in. Think standing abs. Squeeze your standing butt cheek. Reach your arms big. 
I just realized I wasn't reaching my arms as big as I could. I wasn't achieving my full start potential. <laughs> so I'm going higher, here we go. Whew. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite workouts. Nice job. I see you sweating. Few more reps, come on. March. Woo. Breathe. Good job. I think we're inching our way through this walk. Sometimes a long walk with a friend is just what you need. You can check in with your fitness tracker. I'm at a mile. Did you hear about the guy during the start of COVID who walked a marathon in his house? We should Google that. The whole thing in his house, indoors. That's amazing. I mean, I'm at a mile. A marathon is 26 of those. I could do it if you were with me. Should we do that? Should we walk the marathon? Comment below. Comment below your thoughts on that. All right, keep that walk going. Pump your arms, check in with your posture. Squeeze your butt. Favorite move coming up next. I know I said, I said that about every move, but we're doing butt kicks and pulse. I love adding this in to a walk because it stretches your quads engages your hamstrings and glutes. Squeeze your upper back, come on. Woo! Bigger. March if you need to, anytime. Good job, keep it up, come on. Woo! That's why I'm here, to help you realize that you're stronger than you think you are. Fitness is a lot harder to do by yourself than it is when you have great company encouraging you to go a little further than you ever have before. March, wow, that one was hard. My heart's working. Pick up your knees, come on. I hope you have one of my foam roll or stretching classes on deck after this. Great idea. Like my friend Donovan Green says, your body is just a body until you make it a temple. So you wanna take care of yourself, not just the exercise, but the mental piece, nutrition, sleep, do it all. Your body's your temple. Good job. Keep that march going. Knees up. Come. Timer says 10 seconds till our next move. We're going to do a boxer side to side. So, boxing gloves on. Ready? We go. Down, punch, punch. I love this one. It's also a lot of standing abs. Make sure you rotate. Don't keep your feet stuck. So twist, twist. The feet move with you. I want you to think about anything you're punching away from you. Negative thoughts, limiting beliefs, toxic relationships. Get it out of your life. You don't need that. You get one shot in this world. I want you to cultivate positive energy, life-enhancing things, exercise, great relationships, fuel. Whew. Abstain. All right, let's march. Oh my gosh. Sweating is great. It's your body's cooling system. Your body's just cooling its way off. Just 
pulling itself off. How's our heart rate? Doing good. We've got a mogul squat next. So we're taking it to the ski slopes. One thing I love about indoor walking is that I really feel my glutes a lot. Maybe it's because you're really thinking about posture. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm all for a good butt lift. Our mobile squat will work our legs a little bit more, okay? So, 12 seconds, breathe. All right, here we go. Feet together, knees together. Reach up, down, up, down. You bend your leg, so bend down and up. Twist your tummy. You're gonna feel this in your core. Good, down, lift. Squeeze your butt. I was never a winter sport person, but I have so much respect for people who do winter sports. They're hard. And I think half of the workout is getting your, all your clothes on <laughs> to do the winter sport. Layers on layers. Whew. Lower in that squat if you can. Sometimes it's amazing what you can do when you try. March. Whew, or walk. Sometimes there's this thing called sexy pace. And sexy pace is when you're really you're feeling yourself and you are like walking. You're like, hey, turning heads with your workout. Like we talked about earlier, what you do in your life radiates. Be a positive, like. High knee pull is up on our agenda for our next body weight exercise. Ready? Gonna bring your arms up and pull, pull. Give me bigger arms, you got it. Squeeze. I'm thinking about reaching and pulling something above me. So kind of like a lat pull down. Crunching my abs as I bring my knee to my chest. All I need is a little bit of you, a little bit of me, and we can make workout history. Whew. March, shoulders back. All right, our next exercise moves to the side again, but we're adding a little twist to it for more core activation. So we're going to do a lateral lunge and then a knee twist at the top. It's another one of my favorites. Are you surprised yet? So start to march on one side of your exercise space because we're moving one way for one minute. Woo! Okay, energy up still. I know you might be feeling a little tired, but don't worry. This energy is going to fuel you. This exercise is going to fuel you. So 10 seconds, lateral lunge with twist. I hope you're excited. Pick up those knees, here we go, hey. Woo! Okay, we lateral lunge and then you're gonna twist up. So down, up. Remember, if that's too much for you, march on the spot. Or try just the lateral lunge like we did earlier in the workout. But remember, there are no repeats. 
So I want you to really try new things with your body. Good, twist. Oh, that's such a great exercise, isn't it? You feel that. I feel that. Squeeze hard at the top. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. You're trying a new exercise. Positive things. I'm feeling good. March. Oh, man. Okay, other side, here we go. Meet me on the other side. By about now, the endorphins from the exercise are starting to hit you. And you're feeling so good. It's that kind of feeling that makes you want to hug everybody. Yeah, exercise makes you happy. It does. Let's make some happy people today. After a good workout, I seriously feel like that's me. Let's make this a good workout today. One that makes you want to hug everybody. Keep that breath going. We've got our lateral lunge on the other side next, okay? You know how I feel. I feel like we're doing this together. Team effort. Second and final side for this lateral lunge. Here we go. Down, up. Make that an oblique crunch. Every day is a new day. Every second offers you a new opportunity. Make sure your weight's back in your heel. Nice job. One side easier than the other? That's normal. Don't sweat it. March. Add a little bounce to your step. Try those arms. We've got a few boxing inspired moves coming up, so if you're a boxer, I got you. Are you leaving me comments below? You gotta do that. I wanna know where you're coming from, what your favorite move is, what you're listening to. Someone, one of my clients the other day, she asked me what I do when I'm having a down day. And I said, put on 90s dance music. Impossible to be in a bad mood when listening to 90s dance music. I just can't do it. Backstreet Boys is singing, I mean, it's hard to frown. <laughs> or you got some 90s hip hop? Have you listened to the lyrics? Too funny, too funny. So try that next time you're having a rainy day. Here we go, high kicks, we go. Ha. Give me a big kick forward. Now I'm really squeezing my abs, and when I used to teach classes at Equinox, just for fun, I'd have the whole class say, And also, it's such a good stress relief. So right now, I don't care if you're alone or you have tons of neighbors, I want you to try it. I want you to go, ha, 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 woo! Tell me how good that feels, right? I know, you only get to do it once. So if you wanna make noise, I am so here for it. You got it. Kick it higher. Here we go. Ha! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! And march. Okay, if you tried the hucks, great stress relief. It's impossible to not smile when you're doing that. It's kind of like how some people like punch a pillow. 
So if you're feeling anxious or stressed or angry, you try that kick and just kick it out of your system. Keep marching. The next one will probably be similar in effect of stress relief. We do a little boxer. More boxers. New boxers, different boxers. Not the underwear. This kind. Okay. Our boxer forward is next, and we're excited. Ready? Here we go. Punch. Now see, I'm really using my core. Side, 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 side. The whole body is working because my legs are firmly planted in the floor. I'm in the, like a little, I'll show you, mini squat. Bracing my abs, driving my elbow forward, bringing it in. Side to side. You got it. It helps if you have a game face, doesn't it? <laughs> or a sexy face. <laughs> Woo! You got it. Come on. Stay with me. Try to go a little faster than you're comfortable with. Because remember, you gotta get out of your comfort zone to see results. Just a little bit, doesn't need to be crazy. You don't have to end feeling exhausted. Uplifted would be good. Okay, March. We only have a few exercises left. Okay, so breathe. I want you to let this be uplifting, stress relieving, and fun. Keep marching. Check your fitness tracker, how we do it? I'm almost at two miles. That's about right, because usually when I go on my walk, I walk Balboa Park, I can walk two miles in 30 minutes, and then usually it's three miles in like 45, 50 minutes. So it depends on how fast I'm walking and what music I'm listening to. Also, how many cute dogs there are around. Because <laughs> that will slow me down significantly. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, repeat our knees are next. We're gonna choose one side and do one side for one whole minute. Take a break if you need to. So we're here, we're gonna go. Knee. So slight bend in that front leg, and I'm using my abs to bring my knee in. Arms are reaching out to the side. Firmly plant down through that front heel. This should take you back to step aerobics. I taught steps, so I'm just, you know, I'm here for it. I love step. So fun. I think I still own a step somewhere. Ooh, two miles! Watch this told me. Whew. One minute is a long time. You're welcome. Just breathe again. Try to stay strong, you got it. You should feel your glutes and quads and heart. Five seconds. March. Oh man, this butt is on fire. This is very effective. Do not discredit indoor walking. People look at it and they're like, oh that's easy. Tell them to try it with you. Same with chair cardio. People are always like, I thought chair cardio was easy until I found your workouts. I'm like, I know, it doesn't have to be. It's all about what you put into it. This can be easy or it can be hard. What are you putting into your workout today? What do you need to put into your workout today? Some days you need an easy day. You can't train hard every single day. That's ridiculous. Your body would break down and you would not like your life. So it needs to be ups and downs. Which is why in the Patreon monthly fitness calendar program, I program that for you. So you don't need to feel bad on the easy days. You can just embrace them. Okay, repeat your knee, second side. Don't do the same side. Ready? Here we go. One minute, arms up and go. We've got in. Try crunching those abs. Work the obliques. This is also a lot of standing abs. Bring your knee in towards your chest. 
Good job. Woo! Keep your energy up. 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 Yeah, well done. Proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Finish it strong. My butt is on fire. Wow. This is standing butt. Whew. March. Oh my gosh, that timer. Felt like it couldn't come fast enough. It's always great when your own workouts kick your butt. for sure. Drive those elbows. So even though you're getting tired, if you're getting tired, maybe you're not. If so, tell me your secret. Uh, keep your form. Keep your posture. I'm doing the happy pace right now. This is sexy pace. This is happy pace. of yours. My emoji would most definitely be a dolphin. That would be my emoji. Are you surprised? Probably not. <laughs> Speed skate is next. Ready? We go. Step, cross. Get low in your legs. So like I said earlier, all the body weight exercises are strengthening you. They're getting your glutes, your inner thighs, your outer thighs, your quads, your core, your arms. We haven't added any equipment. This is a really great workout if you want to go back to basics, work on your foundation, your form, before adding load, like weights. I can't wait to see what emoji you are. Well done. I want you to tell yourself something encouraging right now. Right now. Say something to yourself. I believe in you. You can do it. You're stronger than you think you are. You're capable of amazing things. I'm proud of you. Keep going. Nice job. Those are all great. Okay, if the twist is like, whoa, what? What's going on? <laughs> Hopefully you got a good night's sleep before this, but if you didn't, you might want to just stick with the first version. Two exercises left, friends. Make them your best. I'm so happy. I love working out with you. Okay, shoulders down. Twist, twist, twist. This is really hard. It's hard to get low in the lunge because you're really trying to balance. Push your hands together, that will help. If this is too much, just backwards like this, no problem. Meet your body where you're at today. Workouts don't need to be soul crushing. They should be uplifting. So next time you take a workout, notice how it makes you feel, not just physically, but mentally. If it makes you anxious, then it's not worth doing. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <sighs> oh, okay, march it out. We're on to our last interval. So because we finished, almost, our last exercise is a victory V. 
So we're gonna march with Victory V Arms because you, my friend, are victorious. A workout is a small time commitment in your day that can change all of the hours of the rest of your day. So sometimes I know it might feel hard to find time to exercise, but think about how much that little bit of time gives you for the rest of your day and your life. So make the time, you can make the time with me, you can make the time in my Patreon community, I'll tell you what to do every day so you don't have to guess and stress. Make the time, you're worth it, and you deserve to feel good. You deserve to live a long, healthy life. You gotta give to yourself before you give to other people. Okay, here we go, victory high knee, up. Bring that knee into chest, V for victory. Punch those arms, reach. Nice, lift. This is our final exercise, so give it everything you've got. to the world around you. I am so grateful that you joined me today. I'm Caroline Jordan, your certified health and fitness coach, and I want to show and acknowledge you for being part of my community and part of my life. Please leave me a comment in the description box below and let me know how you liked this video. And also be sure to check out my Patreon community in the description box, Patreon Caroline Jordan Fitness. Thank you so much, great job today, and I'll see you soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.